Hey everybody! Today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, alcohol. Now, alcohol is something that I've enjoyed for like the last 20 years and maybe a little bit too much. Uh, I normally drink about once or twice per week, but recently I've started doing a bit of research just to sort of dig deeper into the health effects of alcohol. We all know it's probably not the greatest thing for you, but there's more and more studies coming out that uh, are giving us more information about alcohol. And so I've been looking into the negative health effects because I do realize that it's probably not good for my health. It's not helping me achieve my fitness results. It's, in fact, it's probably holding me back quite a bit. And uh, it's also not helping my hormones. You know, it's not good for testosterone and it can also increase estrogen. And that is probably uh, evident in my latest uh, blood test results where my estrogen was a little bit higher than usual. Now, we always see in the literature uh, for the last couple of decades even that they recommend that light to moderate drinking is okay for you, right? Or in actual fact, sometimes they even promote it and say it's good for you. One or two drinks a day is not the end of the world. Well, new research that has come out and a new study that's come out seems to indicate that that is in fact not the case and that uh, even light to moderate drinking may have a negative impact on your brain. So uh, I'm gonna link to that study in the description of this video so that you can read it for yourself. But uh, today, let's just have a look at the highlights of that study. And if you do wanna see more about that, then just go read the article for yourself. But the description here is, according to a new study, even light to moderate drinking may have negative effects on brain function. The research published by the BMJ or British Medical Journal concluded that alcohol consumption even at moderate levels is associated with adverse brain outcomes. Also, there was no protective effect of light drinking, even one to seven units per week, which is one a day, uh, there was no protective effect over abstinence. They also recommended and agreed with the reduction in alcohol limits uh, or recommended alcohol limits currently being implemented in the UK and the US. So, as you can see, research coming out does not look good for even light alcohol drinking. So let's have a look at the study quickly and I'll put everything up on the screen. So the objectives of this study was to investigate whether moderate alcohol consumption has a favorable or adverse association or no association with brain structure and function. And if you have a look now at the results and the conclusion that came out, Higher alcohol consumption over the 30-year follow-up was associated with increased odds of hippocampal atrophy in a dose-dependent fashion, while those consuming over 30 units a week were at the highest risk compared with abstainers, uh, even those drinking moderately, 14 to 21 units per week, that's two to, two to three per day, had three times the odds of right-sided hippocampal atrophy. This is the most important part. There were no protective effect of light, or there was no protective effect of light drinking, even just one to seven units per week, which is basically one or less per day. There was no protective effect over abstinence. So the conclusion they came to was that alcohol consumption, even at moderate levels, is associated with adverse brain outcomes, including hippocampal, hippocampal atrophy. These results support the recent reduction in alcohol guidance in the UK, uh, and question the current limits recommended in the US. So as you can see, even the recommended one to three drinks per day seems to be coming under question now, which is not good, especially for those of us that love alcohol, but maybe it is good because it's giving us a sort of kick in the ass in the right direction to help us slow down our drinking and ultimately stop drinking. Now, I'm sure that one drink here and one drink there, you know, with all the benefits, like let's say red wine's got Reservatrol in that everyone says is good for you. I'm sure that's not gonna do too much damage, but you can also get those sort of substances and the beneficial substance that you get in alcohol from a food or drink that doesn't have alcohol in. So there really isn't any need for us to drink other than maybe relaxing and things like that. We've all got our ways of justifying it. So the study does admit that further research still needs to be done to solidify these results, but I think this is where the trend is going to go. As we've seen with other foods uh, that we consume, alcohol, the trend seems to be indicating that less is better and uh, now even that abstinence is better than uh, even just a little bit of drinking. So 
sorry to bring you the bad news, but if you're someone like me that's uh, interested in optimizing their body, being healthy and getting rid of just shitty habits in your lifestyle, uh, then a study like this might interest you. So if you are interested, have a look. The link's in the description. And if I find sort of more studies along these lines, especially regarding health and alcohol and how it affects your health, I'll certainly do more videos on this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.